Hi, everybody. Will Walden here for the Space News Pod. And on today's episode, we're going to be talking about the SpaceX chopsticks on the orbital launch tower. Now, what are they going to be testing? How are they going to be testing them? And what's in store for the future of the chopsticks booster and Starship SN20? SpaceX will be testing the chopsticks on the orbital launch tower, which is also known as Mechazilla, down at Boca Chica, Texas at Starbase. And they've started already. They've moved it around. They've lifted it up. They've pushed it back down. But recently, they've started to do load tests on the chopsticks. And this is really cool because they have these giant bags underneath the chopsticks that are just hanging on the bottom of the chopsticks. And these things are marine and industrial bags. Okay, so they use these to test load on giant things like barges. If they can lift up a, a barge, they have to make sure that the weight of the barge doesn't destroy the crane before the crane actually lifts the barge. So they put these bags on there as a test. They do that also with automakers for smaller bags. But you can add as many bags as you want. SpaceX added up to 250,000 pounds of these bags to the bottom of the chopsticks. And each one of these bags is rated between 20, 35, and 50 tons. So they need a bunch of these things to make up uh, 250 pounds, 250,000 pounds of the SpaceX chopsticks lift. So <clears throat> going forward, these could have a max of 250,000 pounds, which is a huge amount of weight. Now that's a full, payload of a ship or a booster. So fully loaded, they could lift a ship with this or a booster one at a time, of course, because they have to put the booster on the orbital launch mount first, and then they can take the ship and put the ship on top of the booster with these chopsticks. These chopsticks will also be used to catch a booster as it comes flying back towards earth. That's pretty incredible. So, how cool is that, that they're already testing this stuff? They've done a lift test with this. I was there the other day where well, they were lifting it a little bit, but they're doing full lift tests over the next few days. So what do we expect SpaceX to do over the next few days? Well, let's take a look at what they could be doing over the next few days. And we have a clue about this because there is... Uh, a way to check this out. So these road closures that SpaceX does almost, you know, almost weekly recently, and they had a little, uh, a little break during the holiday season, but they're back in full force every single day down there at SpaceX uh, Starbase 24 seven. So here's the road closures that are coming up in the next few days, January 13th today, the road closure is canceled. It was canceled yesterday too. Maybe they had something planned. Maybe uh, something wasn't ready, but sometimes they just close it because there's high winds or there's possible weather or something like that. So they closed the, they were going to close the road today, but they canceled that January 14th, which is tomorrow, Friday, 6 a.m. to 4 p.m. road closure. I have a feeling they're going to cancel this road closure as well. Now, next Monday, <clears throat> the 18th through the 20th, the 18th through the 20th, or Tuesday, I'm sorry, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. That's a 12-hour test schedule. What could they be doing with the chopsticks? What could they be doing with Starship? And what could they be doing with Booster on a 12-hour day? Think about it for a second. If you were SpaceX and you've been load testing the chopsticks for the last few days, and you know that the weight of the chopsticks or on the bottom of the chopsticks could hold a booster. Wouldn't you want to try the booster out and lift it up to the orbital launch platform? That's a possibility. 12 hours would be a great amount of time for SpaceX to secure the booster out of the chopsticks and lift it up onto the orbital launch tower. I'm just saying that it's a possibility that they do that, but they also may want to test Starship more because there was a leak that we saw when they were doing cryo tests and the static fire tests uh, about a week ago. And it looked like one of the bottom manholes um, for the Starship 
was leaking some sort of uh, something. We're not exactly sure what it was leaking, but it was during the cryo tests. And, um, you know, they, they went through with the tests, but also they may have to test it again. They may have fixed it up. I saw some people working on it the other day. I saw some people in that area the other day, and it looks like they may be testing Starship SN20, Ship 20 at Boca Chica Starbase in the next week or so. So the 18th to the 20th, all day long, 12 hour days. If you're at Starbase for 12 hours, there's a couple shifts that come in and out. There's a shift in the morning. There's a shift in the afternoon, the six o'clock-ish shift, the shift change. So they have a couple, couple shifts that can be in and out of this thing. And so I'm expecting all day long, they're going to test uh, possible load test of uh, the chopsticks. Then at some point during that day, load up booster four and lift booster four onto the orbital launch platform. They've been doing a lot of preparations on booster four at Starbase. I've been watching them do preparations uh, since it's off of the, uh, off the orbital launch platform right now. And they're also removing scaffolding from the orbital launch platform. So, it's a possibility they're getting ready for a move with the chopsticks. They also have a crane, so they could study it with the crane if need be. But maybe they're going to do a full test, full lift test with a booster onto the orbital launch mount. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know what you think they're going to test. Could be the orbital launch mount. Could be uh, Ship 20, another test. Let me know. All right. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.